Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to do a quick MoFi 4500 versus the Netgear M1 Nighthawk tonight. And I had recorded a whole bunch of clips already showing that they're really close. And tonight I ran the M1 right before this and I was getting terrible numbers like seven down and seven up. So turns out the Netgear has been turned on for a couple days now and I don't know if it has flaked out in some manner or what. We're going to find out here in a second. So this right here is the MoFi 4500 with the, uh, it's the combo package, the SIM4 combo package. So that means you get the uh, plus five DBI paddle antennas. And that's the only thing I'm using uh, for that pull there. Uh, hold on a second. I'll go switch to the M1 and we'll see if we're getting terrible speeds once again. It's almost 8 p.m. on a Wednesday night, so peak data time, I would say. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We're pinging Google, so I know it came up. We are now on the M1. And there's the MoFi 46 down, 21 up. Let's see what we get. So this is after a reboot, so it might have it might have flaked out during uh, you know being powered up. No, it's still going to be crappy. Okay, so this is good good to know if you're wanting a comparison between how the MoFi versus the uh, Netgear is going to do in the country. Now it's taking off now. doing That's pretty decent. Uh, before it was only like 7 and 7. This is the M1 again being really slow, about 8 up and 8 down. So I'm not for sure what's going on here. This is right after a reboot. And just a second ago, I got 20, 20 or so down with it and 20 up. So this is just to prove that in the country, the M1 is not as stable as the 4500. So to conclude tonight, I'm going to show you the MoFi here. It sees its signal here as a negative 90 dB. And signal quality is hovering around 9 um, so we are back on the MoFi. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I just took this a couple minutes ago. Let's see if we're getting close still. Hopefully I was on the same server there. It'll be pretty close if not. Yeah, it's going to be. So what I've learned from all this, um, comparing these two over the last couple weeks is, the MoFi is is more stable, constant. Um, the M1, some days it will totally smoke the M1 and get almost double the download. Like a couple nights ago, I was getting 125 down. Um, you can go back one video and see that, see proof of it. For some reason, I don't know if it's uh, if it is using its band aggregation and it just caught another tower that night not for sure what's going on so um, if you get around 90 as a reference if you're getting around 90 db on your mofi you can expect well similar results not exact but as a guideline so if you're in the country i would say go with the mofi type setup something with external antennas rather than uh, risking it with uh, yeah, for us country peeps, I would stick with the MoFi 4500, or you could try one of the KuFi uh, Amazon setups. I haven't I haven't verified if that works for where I'm at, but it's about half price is what the MoFi 4500 is. If you can find it in stock, it was just a couple days ago. So uh, there's some other alternatives out there, but if you got the money and you just want to make sure that it works, I wouldn't hesitate and picking up another MoFi 4500 and uh, doing it all over again. If you're dependent upon it for internet in the country anyway, in town, maybe you have more options, but uh, us country peeps don't always have that. So this is like a lifesaver. That's all I got for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Links are in the description. I'll catch you guys on another one. See ya.